Hello everybody. I'll start this video with running an Energy Plus example file, the parametric installation 5zone aircool.idf file. Launching the simulation, four Energy Plus process command prompt windows appear. However, the processor activity is minimal. That is due to executing Energy Plus simulations remotely on the DMU cluster. To be able to run your Energy Plus simulations remotely, you need to download the JES client from the GE Plus web page. You'll need to register it first. Once downloaded, you need to launch run GUI.bat file and enter your username and password by clicking the validate button. Username and password will be provided by us separately. You also need to agree to the JES service terms. Last thing to do before be able to execute simulations remotely is to copy the whole JES client folder to the Energy Plus folder. The default location of the Energy Plus folder is on the C drive. You also need to copy two files from the JES client folder to the Energy Plus folder. These are eplrun.bat and dplrun.original. Windows will ask you to overwrite the eplrun.bat file. Once you accept, you are ready to use eplaunch to execute Energy Plus simulations remotely. To restore the default Energy Plus operation, which means to be able to run simulations on your PC again, you just need to delete eplrun.bat file and change the extension of eplrun.original file to the eplrun.bat. Let's see what happened with simulations I sent to the DMU cluster. They have been completed successfully. And as you can see, all results are in the folder where they would be if I run simulations locally on the PC. Thank you for watching this video.